Welcome to Win With Barlow, the podcast where we turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. With your host, Akira Barlow. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of DNA testing businesses. Looking to maintain momentum or ready to scale? This series is your guide to success. Let's get started. Hey cousins, and welcome back to season two of the Win with Barlow podcast. And before you get your belt out and try to get me, I know I have been gone the entire 2025. Yes, I know. Please forgive me. But if you have been living under a rock, then you don't know that me and my girl, Ebony Polk of Polk Medical Testing Solutions, she and I decided to dedicate the entire 2025 to really helping people get into this space. So we decided to go on tour. That's right. We decided to go on tour and we have been traveling every single month to different cities and different states, just helping people really understand this business and really create a strategy to make money. So please forgive me, but we are officially back. The podcast is back on, okay? We are here. And in today's episode, I'm actually going to be giving you four DNA testing success tips for 2026. Now, before I get into the actual episode, let me just take a moment to actually acknowledge one of our sponsors, Shop Life Angel Scrubs. (laughs) Y'all, listen to me. If you're in the field and you need scrubs that actually move with you, and I mean the kind of scrubs that look good and feel good, then these are the best scrubs on the market, okay? And trust me, I've worn every single brand out there almost, but they have a jumpsuit that is just flawless, okay? It is comfortable, it's stylish, and it is functional because there are so many pockets on it, okay? You can put your gloves, your cups, your pens, everything right there in your pockets. And what I love love most about these scrubs is that they were actually created by a nurse herself. Like they were created by a nurse. Like you cannot beat that. You are wearing something that was created by somebody who understands the real work day. So if you are looking for a professional feel to your business, to your look, to your company's uniforms, and you don't want to sacrifice comfort or style, then Life Angel Scrubs is the best option for you. Okay. So when you get a chance, after you listen to this episode, be sure you visit shoplifeangels.com and take a look at what they have to offer. I'm going to put my own personal affiliate link down in the comments of this episode. Be sure to use it and go and grab you something that can represent you and your business well. Okay. Now let's jump in some of these actual DNA testing success tips that I have for you today. Now, number one, I want you guys to stop selling DNA tests, okay? Please stop selling the test. (laughs) I know you're like, wait a minute, Ms. Barlow, what are you talking about, okay? Listen, you should be selling the outcome of the actual DNA test, not necessarily just the DNA test. On all of my marketing, on all of my content, I'm not just saying, hey, we do DNA testing. Hey, DNA testing, DNA testing. That is not going to get anybody's attention, okay? Nobody's. People don't wake up wanting a DNA test. They wake up wanting clarity. They want peace of mind. They want something that is court ready. They are just ready for the answers that they can really trust. And so that is what they're looking for. So when you are creating content that just says, hey, get a DNA test, it doesn't move them. It doesn't make them feel like, you know what, today is a day. Today is a day I'm tired of Billie Jean playing in my face. Like they... (laughs) <laughs> like you have to give people like the fire, the fire to actually go execute and to make something happen. So in 2026, if you're still just selling paternity testing as a product and you're not really positioning it as a solution to something, then you're really just leaving money on the table. Your messaging should focus on what the test helps someone do. It needs to focus on how People can establish their parental rights, how they can move a court case forward, or maybe even how they can actually confirm biological relationships so they can get child support or get any legal interest that they may have protected. That is what you're selling, okay? So when clients understand the outcome, they stop shopping on price and just start choosing what is the best option for them to get to their solution, okay? So 
Think about that when you're creating content. Think about that in your marketing. Anything that I'm putting out, it rarely says DNA testing. It's always going to be something entertaining or something humorous or educational that's going to move them to go ahead and solve their actual problem. All right. Number two, I want you to start building actual referral pipelines. Okay. And when I say a pipeline, think of an actual pipe, like water running under your sink and going through the little curves and the ups and downs. That is what I want you to think of. When you have just those one-time clients, yes, they can keep you busy, but the referral pipelines is what's going to keep you paid. Okay. Now in 2026, I want you to be an extremely aggressive DNA testing agency. And when I say aggressive, I mean like really positioning yourself to be seen, positioning yourself to have a process for those who are actually interested. What I have found just from my experience of teaching and educating and helping people is that you guys will say, hey, I have a referral program and they get 25 bucks if they sign up with us. Or if they refer someone, they get $25 back because they sent someone over. Awesome. Sounds really good. But you don't have a pipeline. <laughs> you don't have a system. You don't have a process to this referral. All you know is that you are willing to give someone $25, but the phone lines are still not ringing. And that is because there is no real flow to getting the referral. Listen, when I am signing people up for my referral program, I am reminding them every single week that they are in a referral program, okay? A lot of times people know that they can get paid for something and that's a one-time incentive or they'll hear it and they'll remember it in that moment, but it doesn't click with them on an everyday basis. So anyone that's in my actual referral program, we're going to be texting them. We're going to be emailing them. We're going to be sending them content. We're going to be sending them free items and free merch. And just things that represent us in business so that they can continue to put the word out for us. So create some sort of interactive pipeline between your company and the actual referral so that you can just stop selling your services and really position, position yourself as a resource that they can rely on consistently. OK, now we know that they are going to refer people and we know that they're going to send people to you. But when you create that pipeline and that consistent flow, it keeps the clients coming and your business a whole lot more stable. OK, so go ahead and create the process for when a referral signs up. What do they receive when the referral is a part of the program for five days or 30 days or 60 days? What do they get? Are you doing um, affiliate calls with them? Are you doing Zoom calls with them to keep them educated? Are you sending them merch in the mail? Like what are you doing to really curate a good referral relationship? OK, number three, speed and transparency will matter more than price, okay? Now, yes, people are looking for a pricing in this economy that makes sense. And I tell people that are starting their businesses to make sure that you're not the highest and you're not the cheapest, but you're actually competitive. And when I say competitive, I really mean being competitive. You may be 5 or $6 off from LabCorp or any other major testing center in your area. But the point is, you're going to be able to do things that those Fortune 500 companies can't do. Like number one, you can be mobile. Most of them can't. Number two, you can offer payment plans. A lot of those companies are not, but speed and transparency is what matters the most to someone. So think about how that affects your business and how it will affect your potential client. They're not just waking up asking how much. They want to know how fast and how clear and how professional the process actually is. You also want to be able to, get, to give them clear timelines. So what is the lab process? What is the shipping like? What is the result delivery like? In 2026, I know that rapid testing is going to lead. It is going to be one of the best options that you can have within your company, which means that they're able to get their results back typically within 24 hours. So that is definitely something I will upsell my clients to and really use as a major tagline in a lot of my marketing. Clear communication, it builds trust. And I tell people all the time, drop your same day testing fees. Like, why are you charging people to do a service that you're already going to be offering because you're open that day? Drop some of those excessive fees, drop all of that mileage stuff, and just have a clean, direct flow to how they can purchase, get them what they need, and just go on about their lives. That is what you want. People will pay more for peace and pay more for, for convenience 
and just pay more for a clean and easy process before they have to go through all of these loopholes and trying to figure out how to make it happen. So think for them, show up, give them direct clean information, be available the same day, be direct at your pricing. I tell people exactly what my laugh is. There is no shame in our game. We don't mind letting them know because we are not trying to get over on anybody. We are trying to really produce a solution for their problem. Okay. And lastly, I want you to think of your DNA testing business like a, how should I put this? Like a media brand. The top DNA testing agencies in 2026, they won't be silent. Okay. They are not just going to be posting on Instagram and hope that somebody sees it or make one little generic Canva post on Facebook in hopes that somebody will see and call. You are going to position yourself as an expert. You're going to be educating. You're going to be showing up online, giving people education and not education in regards to the service. I think that's where a lot of you get it wrong. I am not trying to be the best DNA testing specimen on our specimen collector on earth. OK, it is not what my job title is, but I do want to be the most impactful in this space in, for my clients. Meaning I want to show up as a resource. I need to make sure that I know everything pertaining to what it is that I do. So because I'm helping people find out who their baby daddies are, right? I am taking the time to learn the paternity laws in my state. I'm taking the time to get well acquainted with some of the top family law attorneys and top child support attorneys that are in my area so that I can be well versed and know exactly what they're up against. I also make sure that I understand the child support income guidelines so that I can also give people education. I also made it a habit of just reaching out to like my local hospitals, um, speaking to the birthing clerks to make sure that I understand the process of a father not signing the birth certificate and maybe want to add his name later. I'm always calling the vital records office to make sure that I am up on all of the ladies, you know, information when it comes to, you know, vital records. So you're not just educating, you are really just showing up to make sure that your business is is not invisible. Okay. Invisible businesses, they, they don't grow. You can't make any money if you're not the leading company, if you're not the person that is outworking everybody. See, that is what a lot of people miss about this industry. They think, wow, you can make $300 in 15 minutes. And that's great because you, because you can. However, it's all about how what strategy are you going to put into place to make sure that you're making that $300 in 15 minutes over and over and over again. When people see your face and they hear your voice, they need to know that, hey, that is the person, that is the lady, that is the company that knows DNA testing. They know exactly about the lab partnership and the way it works when it gets to the lab. Call your lab to ensure that you understand exactly what happens once this sample envelope makes it makes it to them what happens after that a lot of us just sign up with the partnership and we are you know selling the test but we don't really know the intricate details of the processing of the specimen so call your lab and get some more information about it so that you can really really show up so those are some of your four keys to DNA testing success in 2026. I want you to shift your messaging I want you to build a partnership pipeline prioritize transparency and show up as the authority. Now, I know those key things will help you make money, okay? Now, if this episode has helped you out, make sure you subscribe and share it with someone else and make sure you stay locked in because there are so many more great episodes that are on the way. See you in the next one.